Hey everybody, I'm Matthew Missing T, and today we start gaining some weekly XP. As you can see, this is the beginning of a gaming news series on the expansion pack. Every week, I'm going to share some of the top gaming headlines and share them with you. In this week's episode, we'll be talking about Nintendo's Mario Focus Direct, Hello Games' next project, Resident Evil Village, and NVIDIA's new series of video cards. Without further ado, let's start leveling up. Late this week, we were surprised with a Nintendo Direct focused around everyone's favorite plumber, Mario. Super Mario 3D All-Stars was revealed and allows us to relive Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy on the Nintendo Switch. Super Mario 35, a platforming battle royale, and Super Mario World and Bowser's Fury were also announced for the Switch. Important to note, 3D All-Stars and Super Mario 35 will be seeing a limited run, so make sure you can experience those three All-Star Mario titles and this new Battle Royale before they're gone. I'll make sure to have the date somewhere on here so you guys don't miss out. I got you. But for real, 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy can all be considered some of the best Mario games, so it'd be a shame to miss out on that. And Super Mario 35 seems to be following the Fall Guys trend, and we all know how fun that game is. Hello Games says they are working on a quote, new and ambitious title. The studio behind No Man's Sky has about half of their team working on this project and their studio founder, Sean Murray, says it is very early in development. Murray also expressed his hesitation to talk about the game, considering No Man's Sky's less than promising launch. Now I've never been interested in No Man's Sky personally, but I commend them for adding loads of content to the game in order to follow up on their original promises. If No Man's Sky was a trial by fire, then let's be hopeful that their new title will be true to their intentions upon release. Did you play No Man's Sky? And are you interested in this new project? If so, let me know in the comments. It's been confirmed that Resident Evil Village will be coming to Tokyo Game Show this year. For those interested in learning news about the title, you can see it live on the live stream on Sunday, September 27th as a part of Capcom's lineup. Since we haven't heard anything about the game since PlayStation's digital conference, I hope we'll be seeing gameplay and even a potential release date, although we do know it is coming out in 2021. I'm personally excited to see another Resident Evil title that follows RE7's format since that game went back to the series horror roots. Plus, it's almost spooky season, so the news could not be better time. Are you excited for Resident Evil Village? Have you played Resident Evil 7? If not, I recommend checking it out on Xbox Game Pass. It's pretty inexpensive and unlocks a library of other titles. You can thank me later. Everyone likes to upgrade their PCs and Nvidia just released information on their new video card series. During a live stream, they showed off the new Nvidia GeForce RTX 3070, 3080, and 3090. I'd like to get into the details of each, but I honestly don't know what some of the information means, so I'll share with you all the prices and highlights of the cards. The 3070 is priced at $499 and will be available in October, while the 3080 is priced at $699 and will be available September 17th. Both of these cards are projected to be better than the industry-leading 2080s, and they're cheaper. Lastly, the 3090 will be priced at a whopping $1499 and will be available September 24th. Although the price tag is hefty, Nvidia states the 3090 will be able to run 60 frames per second at 8K. Now that's a lot of Ks. Have you been looking to upgrade your computer rig? This fall might be the right time to lead the pack with these new Nvidia cards. Just get your wallet ready. Well, that's all for this weekly XP. I hope you guys enjoyed the news and my manner of presenting the information. I'd like to continue working on the series, so please let me know of any improvements I can make. All your feedback is appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next Weekly XP.